well hello uh, okay the book i read again during the, the lockdown or however in the free time uh, of this lockdown as we continue to work anyway uh, like before and actually even more than before <laughs> well the book i read again was the the iliad uh, the iliad uh, by by homerus that means exactly the song of ilium uh, as the city of Troy was known as Ilium, uh, is an epic poem, traditionally attributed to Homer, uh, and it was written um, 800 years before the birth of Christ. And uh, it was about the, the, the story of the conquest uh, of the city of Troy by a coalition, we would say today, uh, a coalition of, uh, of Greeks. Um, we're talking about a wonderful poem. I mean, uh, uh, it's a fascinating story. Uh, already we think about the, the, the characters uh, in the story. On the one side, uh, Menelaus, King of Par Sparta, Agamemnon, uh, Nestor, and uh, pff, even more outstanding Ulysses, uh, and uh, Ajax, and uh, Achilles. Uh, on the other side, people like Hector, uh, for example, a model of, uh, uh, of men or uh, the father uh, Priam uh, and even a woman, the wo woman like uh, Briseides or uh, Andromache, the, the, the wife of uh, Hector, powerful woman uh, for, different, uh, for different reasons. Um, well, anyway, the, the, the story mm, begins on the Olympus. The Olympus was the sacred mountains uh, that was the, the home of the ancient Greek gods. Uh, indeed, like most of the things that happened in the past, according to the ancient Greeks, also this specific situation start uh, from a dispute uh, between, between the gods, actually between the goddess. Uh, in short, Paris, that is the son of the Trojan king uh, Priam, uh, falls in love with Helen. And Helen, by chance, falls in love with the... Uh, um, um, with Paris, of course, for the, uh, due to the will of, of the gods. The issue was that uh, um, Ellen was the wife of the king, Spartan king Menelaus, an ally of uh, Troy. But uh, Ellen fell in love with Paris, Paris fell in love with Ellen. Uh, they decide to uh, just uh, leave. Uh, live together. Um, Menelaus cannot take this <laughs> so, uh, in a positive way uh, and in fact together with the brother decide to uh, move uh, a war against, uh, against Troy uh, with, as I said, with a coalition of Greeks. So in fact there were uh, other kings and princes of, uh, of Greece. Uh, among them, as I said, uh, Ulysses and Achilles, that in the beginning they were not so much uh, fun of going to a new war. Ulysses, for example, pretend to be crazy in the beginning. Uh, Achilles was uh, hidden by the mother not to go to, uh, to a war. Uh, but anyway, in the end, the, the, the ships left in, uh, heading uh, Troy. Uh, the Trojan War uh, will last 10 years uh, and, well, it begins. In reality, the Iliad talk about the last 50, 53 days of this war. That is actually, um, we said 10 years, but it, it is actually a siege. So in, in, uh, in reality, it's a situation that is rather static. Okay, so it's a siege. So, apart from some uh, battles, uh, for sure, is not the Iliad is not a story of uh, continuous battles, and uh, it's, it's rather uh, static. But it's a story about feelings, about human emotion, human behaviors, uh, and in fact, one reason why I love classical literature uh, is because, well, let me tell you. Dante Alighieri, Shakespeare, and so on. No doubt, they were great men in the history of literature, well, in, in the history of the, the, the humanity, uh, but everything that was written 
about human feelings, everything that is still written today and how it is written was already written by Greek, uh, by the ancient Greeks more than 2000 years ago, uh, then by Romans, but uh, in particular the Greeks, uh, the ancient Greeks, they taught us uh the, the the feelings okay uh and not only that uh even today if you notice the screenplays of the movies are almost all similar depending if they're drama or uh, <clears throat> comedy uh and this is not an invention of hollywood uh greeks and romans over 2000 years ago uh, they had already invented all these structures of their shows uh shows uh, in there for their uh, theaters, and today uh, we keep uh, repeating. Them. Anyway, uh, so uh, I was saying more than a military history uh, or the uh, story of uh, the, the, the soldiers and the action uh, and battles. Well, this is a story of human feelings. Uh, let's think about uh, the friendship between Achilles and Patroclus, uh, or the moral strengths as, as uh, Brisades, uh, Agamemnon's greed, uh, the idea of legacy in the words and in the behavior of Hector. Uh, well, this is one of the reasons why, in reading the Iliad in these days, uh, I drew this, this parallel. With our present situation, that is, uh, and 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 this story, okay, I mean, uh, is kind of a, a parallelism between the Trojan siege and the siege perpetrated by the COVID nineteen to us, a siege that today we call lockdown. In fact, um, in the history of uh, Homer, uh, this experience. Even if, as I said, this is a static, apparently static, and uh, in this static and immobility, uh, well, we f we feel all of us a little bit exactly the same uh, in, in 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 this immobility of the lockdown. But this immobility is only uh, ap uh, apparent. Because exactly like in the Iliad, in reality, we have a variety of human feelings and values that the COVID-19 uh, put exactly in front of us with, mm, uh, with the uh, huge strengths. The anger of mm, the missed opportunities, uh, the, miss, the, 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 the loss of the jobs, the pain of the loss of someone. Uh, unfortunately, uh, but on the other side, the enthusiasm of the uh, so many expression of uh, newfound solidarity, for example, uh, the desire uh, back to the idea of uh, uh, what is the desire uh, back to the how antiquity taught us uh, all about feeling. The word desire comes actually from the Latin desidera, and it is a military word. Um, this word appears in the De Bello Gallico, uh, written by Giulio Cesare. Uh, Sidera in Latin means the stars. Uh, and the desiderantes uh, were those soldiers who had the task of waiting immediately outside the camp during the night, uh, so literally, desider under the stars, in the eventuality that some uh, wounded soldier would go back by himself uh, from the from the battlefield, so the desiderantes, uh, those who would say today, the, those who decide, uh, they were those who were waiting un the, under the star. So the desire is uh, waiting. Okay, so uh, back to the Iliad. Uh, so uh, it is a full. Of figures and moments of humanity. Uh, well, for example, uh, another in, incredible moving scene is the scene of a, uh, when a Hector, before his fights with Achilles, holds his little son, hugs his little son, knowing uh, that he'll be almost for sure killed by Achilles. Was Achilles. So, uh, but the idea of legacy is stronger. He has to go. 
uh, he must go. But in this moment, but in this moment, we have this figure of a father that had his uh, little uh, his little child. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's fantastic. Uh, and actually, Hector uh, comes out of the walls, and in this duel against uh, Achilles, he dies. But Achilles does something terrible. Not only kills Hector under the eyes of the father, the wife, uh, and all the Trojans that were, were watching from the walls, but uh, he also, Achilles also, dishonor and uh, outrage Hector's body by bonding him to, the, to his uh, chariot and dragging him up and down in front of, uh, of everyone. So the dishonor, total dishonor. And more, Achilles carried Hector's body to his camp. So what that means that uh, he prevent the family from uh, burying him, bur burying him uh, appropriately and uh, honorably. Uh, and at this point, if I'm not wrong, in the fourth book, at this point uh, there is one of the highest uh, scenes uh, in the history of literature. I, I, I think I don't. I, I'm really not exaggerating, but this is really. Uh, the, the Iliad and then the, the, the Odyssey, they, they are great, they, they are the basis of our literature, but our, our feelings, etc. In this moment, there is one of the uh, main scenes, that is the, um, the moment in which, uh, so the duel is finished, Hector is died, uh, is in the Greek camp, so uh, cannot be buried, and the father go out of the walls during the night, so Priam, we are talking about Priam, the king of uh, Troy, go out of, the, of his walls alone, enter in the Greek camp, enter in the tent of Achilles in order to, to, to take the sun, but not in army. He doesn't want to fight Achilles. He wants to talk to Achilles. He actually is not on his knees in front of Achilles. And here start this wonderful, uh, wonderful moment uh, of the of the literature of all times. That is Priam uh, talk to Achille and say to Achille, "Look, what are we doing?" So talking about the obscenity of war and uh, something. Like, it's very personal because, uh, for example, he said, "Look, Achilles, I I knew even your father. We were companion." I knew uh, about his death, but at least he did not see his own son die like I saw. Uh, so it's very, very touching. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing moment, and this uh, and this moment finish with Achilles starting to cry. In particular, when he uh, heard about the father, uh, and he. Achilles start to cry and they cry together. They hug and they they, they, they hug each other. They, they, they hand they, their own uh, hands, and finally, of course, Achilles himself he take care of the body of Hector and give back the body to the uh, to the father in order to give the proper uh, burying and uh, the honor of the death of this big uh, uh, warrior. Uh, so. Uh, mm, this is, I believe, is one of the great messages uh, and great figures that uh, Homer left to humanity with this uh, with this poem. And I think it is worth recovering in the in the school, in the education system, uh, this uh, kind of messages. And why not uh, recover this in this time of uh, new siege? As uh, as I said, this, uh, lockdown is a new form of siege uh, so a siege that anyway i'm sure we'll be able to get out of victorious together uh, hopefully hopefully we will also be able to get out uh, of this siege as uh, better humans thank you very much bye bye